This book, The Blessing of Adversity, is not about theory. I personally experienced a great deal of adversity. Three times in my young life, I came home from school to discover that we had been evicted and our furniture was out on the street. Uh, the most embarrassing thing about that is not the fact that your furniture is on the street, but that the neighbors can see how little you actually have. So three times in my life that happened. When I was nine years old, I walked into the kitchen and saw my father pointing a loaded gun at my mother. So I know personally what adversity is all about. I grew up in a public housing project in Southwest Baltimore. There was gang violence. There was prostitution. There, was, uh, there were drugs available. And I know what it is like to be caught in a cycle of pathology and a cycle of criminality. And I also know the blessings that can come to you when you go through that kind of thing. I know that God can take those negative circumstances and transform them into positive. I am now in a position to touch the lives of hurting people that I would not even be able to identify with had I not, as Ezekiel put it, sat where they sat and so sat where they sit. And so I thank God for my personal experience with adversity because like David, I can say, as he does in the 119th Psalm, verse 71, it was good for me that I have been afflicted.